brought to you by Gospel of God's Grace Ministries. Prophecy. Okay, Ma, stand up. What is happening to your menstruation? I, I said to Lily thing. How old are you now? I'm 39. You are 39? Yes. How come your menstruation is gone? Ah, I can't see. I can't see. But what about, the, what about the snake you always dream? So look, this snake is feeding, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. The snake is feeding on your blood. I can't have another child. My child is 12 years and I can't have another one. You want to have another child, you can't. I can't. Are you hearing what I'm saying is the cause? Yes. Are you listening to me? Yes. There is a snake inside you. Yes. You see it in your dreams. Yes. It is the one that is, is drinking your blood. Yes, prophet. Mm? Yes, prophet. Mm. He's drinking your blood. But uh, this snake is not coming from the blue because in your village, yes. there was a time when they called an Inyanga. Yes. There was a time when you people called an Inyanga. Somebody yes. to come and throw bows. Yes. My, my, my mother used to use this traditional and in, at at my bring, home bring village. For me. Come on. At my home village, they they dance this. They wear these black things and they dance. That's what I'm saying. Uh, 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 but I saw the genesis of this. There was a traditional doctor at home. Yes. A man who came wearing all those things. Yes. Mm -hmm. Skin of this, skin of that. Yes. He came to your house. Yes. He called people. Yes. Eight people came to the gathering. Yes. Eight people. Your mother was there. Yes. In this meeting. Yes. When he left, he left a snake at home. The snake now stays inside you. Yes. Drinks your blood. I can feel it. Every time I feel something's moving in me. Mm. You know you are supposed to be having a baby. You said you've got a child. Yes. It's a, what? It's a girl. But you are supposed to be having another girl. Yes. Mm? You may yes. be telling me that, no, I want another child to be a boy. Is that what you want? I want another girl. Oh, so the girl is already there. But the snake mm -hmm. is just uh, disturbing the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Okay? But uh, let's yes. believe God to set you free. Yes, perfect. And this month of April, you... You, you write down April. Thank you. <laughs> so you are free. I'm seeing you conceiving by April. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. The grace of God is sufficient for you. My name is Cinderella Haiboy. Um, I'm from Maum. The man standing next to me is my husband. This is my, my child. I came to church on the 17th, on the 13th, 2017, January, and I was given a prophecy as you have seen in the clip. It is true. Um, I've, I, have, I haven't been able to conceive for a long time, and uh, the, the menses were very irregular. Then I thought, because I was 40, yes, and I'm a nurse, in prof I'm a nurse by profession, then I thought or, uh, maybe it's because I'm getting to menopause. Men of God gave me the prophecy. It is true that at my home village, we, we did not know anything about the church. We were using traditional doctors, and at my home village, the, we they dance for the, for the ancestors with these black things. But I used to dream of this big snake. It will just be looking at me. When I sleep, I will feel like something is taking me into the river. Then when I get into the river, I will see that big snake. It will be looking at me, it will take me, me deep down into the river. Then when I, then I, I got used to this because it was, it was regular. Then I, I, I just said, no, it's just, it's a dream. I, eventually I will wake up. But it was very, it was very tormenting for me. From 2012, we, we decided to have another child, but I could not conceive. Uh, I went to the doctor in 2015 where I was told my hormones are very, very low. And the doctor was telling me, I have just reached 
early menopause. I can't conceive. The, the only thing that I can do is IVF. So I, I, I gave up or I will have another child. I was supposed to, to pay a lot of money to, to go to South Africa so that I can be donated an egg. Uh, then they will get a, a, a sperm from my husband so that they can, they can fertilize. Then they, they take it into my womb because I myself, I could, they say I could not carry, I could not carry the, the, the ch I could not conceive naturally. I was so stressed because it was a lot of money. If you calculate it, it's about 100,000 or more. Uh, I was so stressed, then we, 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 we gave up, we will have another child, we'll find money and go to South Africa. So by the special grace of God, you come into the service, you receive a prophecy, where the man of God, uh, being used by the Spirit of God, revealed the root cause of your, 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 your situation, the reason why you cannot conceive. And after administering prayer to you, the man of God is giving you a word of prophecy that he sees you conceiving. When the man of God was giving you this word that contradicted the medical doctors, what came upon you, madam? Hey. Uh, because I, I, I was, again, I believed in God. Then I said, but finally, God has seen me through, or I will have a child. I had given up, but God has seen me through, through the man of God. Then I was happy. Now, breaking the news to your husband, because I believe that you were together with him in all this journey. Uh, he also knew what the doctors were saying to you people. So now, opening up to him about the prophecy, what actually transpired? Or was your husband with you in the service when you were receiving the prophecy? Uh, he was surprised, asking me, how can this, how is it going to happen? I said, no, I've been to church, I've been seeing people giving testimony, I they, uh, it will happen. He said, ah, we will see. We will see what will, will happen. But now with the, the, the one child, I'm okay now because you can't, we can't have another child. Ah, when I came to church in 2017, in January 2013, uh, and I received the, 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 the prophecy, and I was told that I will conceive in April. In April, I will, I, will, I will recognize that I'm pregnant and uh, I will have a, a girl child and I should name the, the girl child Sarah. Uh, indeed, in 2018, in 2018, in April, from the holidays, I was just okay. The Easter, I was just okay. I could not feel anything. But on the 4th April, I, I, re, I, I was sleeping, then I felt, I have some pain. Then when I, I touched, I could feel a ball in my stomach. Then I, said, I, I woke him up and I told him, I, I can feel a ball in my stomach. There are two things. It could be a child or a fibroid or something, but it's not painful. He said, oh, what is it? For all, we have to do a, a test, a, a, a pregnancy test. So we went for a test on Friday. Then it revealed two red bold lines. When <laughs> he was surprised because he wanted to see the test himself. He saw the test. He said, ah! Then I asked him, do you, do you doubt the God that I've been praying? He said, your God that you are praying that side is very <laughs> strong. And he said, we are going to name this child, my name that I'm going to give this child is Faith. Because your faith has worked for you. You have been believing that this will happen and it happened according to your faith. Then I'm going to call the child Faith. So my child is called Sarah Faith Lone Haibo. Sarah was from the man of God, as he told me, yes, he 
revealed to me that he will help a girl child and name her Sarah. And he told me that, that the child will be a girl and the, girl, the child is a girl. Uh, as you can see here, in 2015, I went to the, to, I went to the doctors and they were, this, you can see that it's written poor, that my hormones are very, very poor. Here he was showing that those hormones that are not supposed to be there, now they are there, showing that I'm reaching menopause. Um, after I, I conceived, oh, th this is the letter that I was to go for, for, for IVF, and this was the money that I had to pay initially when I was to start the IVF. Then, after I had conceived, oh, my, my, my husband was also done the test, and he was told that, yes, hydrocele, low sperm count, euro, he was, and uh, as you can see, morphology was 2%, and he was referred to do a surgery. That surgery was said, was, he was told that he was going to heal after one year, which means this was the last test that we, we had to do before we could go for IVF, which means now we had to wait for one year for him to heal, because now there will be no sperm, there will be no egg. So we had to wait for one year again. I asked the doctor, the, 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 the same doctor who referred him here, to, 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 he was referring me to GPH. So he had to, I asked him to, just to summarize the results here and summarize everything here. He summarized that I, you can see that the back, I had a, kindly see this Cinderella Haibu, age 40, with this result. Who, who, I'm 13. 13 plus 2 over 40 pregnant, 13 weeks pregnant, background of one percent, first degree infertility for five years with these hormones. These hormones, as he has written the, them, the, these are very, very low hormones for someone to, to get pregnant. The pregnancy was conceived spontaneously. With, uh, I, he, he, I was having this deficiency of vitamin D, and he, he, was, he put me on vitamin D. He did me a scan, he found that I'm pregnant, then he had to refer me to GPH to be monitored, the pregnancy to be monitored. Because I was already four months, but I could not feel anything. Yes, the word of prophecy has been fulfilled. God is great. Hey, this child, how will it hurt? When he cries, the, the husband will take him. When he cries, the sister will take him. It's very, everyone is happy. Bomazala are happy because there was this thing at Hachali Sire. And they, they just told me now, and even my other relatives. My mother was the one who was concerned. The, the others could not tell me, but after the child, the others just came and said, ah, Rinzuri, what is happening? But it is a very happy moment now. Well, I will encourage others to seek God in, uh, in how they manage their life, because it has been proven to us that uh, God is the way, and I would not want to tell others to, to be impatient, uh, because my wife was not impatient. I also followed, and I was not impatient. Uh, so I believe uh, everyone can be impatient with God uh, in whatever they, they are seeking. Uh, what I can see to the people of God is that it's not all about money. It's not all about whether you are a doctor, whether you are a nurse, or you are a professor, or you are what? When God says something, you have to know that. And if he, he's going to do something to you, you will see that this time is, not, is God, it's not me. Because I did everything that I could. I, raised, I could raise money for IVF, but still there were challenges. But when it came, when I was just disparate to say that, knowing that 
Now I've raised money, I have to wait for another year. Now, the, 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 child, the child cannot come, but he, the child came. By the grace of God, the by, child came. By the grace of God, the child came. Yes. Did, you, did you pay any amount for you to conceive this child in the presence of God? No, I did not pay anything. I just came that Friday. I was given a prophecy. Then my faith was lifted. Then I started, if I don't come to church, I will watch Emmanuel TV or watch the YouTube 3G ministries in, the, in, the, in my phone, then my faith was lifted. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.